Hi, this is Catherine Dowell with Network in Action Eastside. Today I have joining me Ricardo Pernado with Expedia Cruises. Ricardo, thanks so much for your time. I'm excited to have you join me. Yeah, I'm excited as well. Thanks. Yeah, so I think uh, the best part is, you know, immediately when I hear Expedia Cruises, I think you book cruise travel, which you do, but what's even better is you book all travel, correct? That's right. We will help our clients travel anywhere in the world, however they would like to travel, not just cruising, although we are pretty fond of cruising. Awesome. <laughs> um, so I'd love to hear how you got into the travel industry and became a travel agency. Yeah, well, you know, I've been working in sales for a while and really enjoyed that. And ultimately, though, uh, I wanted to do something that was a little bit different and a little bit more fulfilling to me and for my family. And uh, out of that came this opportunity to um, work with Expedia Cruises. And so they have uh, locations all across North America, uh, and there wasn't one here in the Mill Creek area. And so I jumped at the opportunity to, to grab this uh, location and set up shop and start serving our community, uh, really to help them go out there and spend time with the people that they value and, uh, and do it in ways that made sense for them. So, uh, you know, helping people plan those vacations uh, has been so meaningful and so satisfactory to me. And so, um, yeah, that's really the, the, the gist of, of doing this type of work. That's, that's amazing to hear because I know travel plays a very special role in my life. It's one of the biggest things that inspires me in life. So um, I, I love to travel. So I'm glad that you get to bring that into people's life and help them um, be able to have those new experiences. I know that the travel industry in general, and especially cruises, took a huge blow during the pandemic. Um, but it sounds like we're starting to turn a bit of a corner. I'd love your insight on where the travel industry is and what the new trends are coming out of the pandemic, what you see travel to look like now. Well, you know, travel is back and that's the main headline, uh, but it is a little bit different than what we recall uh, kind of pre-pandemic, if you will. And so um, there have been a few more uh, hoops that you have to go through. Uh, those seem to be changing by the day and some of them seem to be going away. And then there's other elements where, you know, airlines have struggled uh, to kind of maintain their flights. And so you're hearing some stories out there of, you know, the, yes, there are some challenges, but the idea that we can finally go and travel really seems to be resonating with most of our clients. And they're eager. They want to go and see these places that they had to put on hold for the last two years. And so as they're seeking to go out and travel again, I'm finding that a lot of people are actually going straight to their bucket list items. So in previous years, they might say, well, this year we'll go do that Caribbean vacation or Mexico or Hawaii, all wonderful, wonderful places. Certainly could be bucket list places to go. But a lot of people are saying, no, you know what? I've lost some time there and I'm going to go and do that big trip and I'm going to go to the Galapagos or I'm going to go, you know, spend the 14 day journey in uh, Europe to go through all of the rivers and um, maybe go to Antarctica uh, or, or something like that. So I, I'm finding that that's what folks are now realizing. Time is short. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, let's not wait and let's just make that one big trip that we were eager to do. Let's just make that happen. And the good news is the, the cruise lines and the travel providers, they've responded in kind and they're offering just some great deals for people to be able to do those big trips where maybe it was a little bit of a stretch and almost unattainable for a lot of people in the past. Uh, right now, heading into 2023, uh, it's it's kind of interesting the number of deals that are happening where people can kind of stretch their imagination and do those big bucket list trips, which is cool. Yeah, very cool. What are the um, kind of top destinations you've been booking recently for this upcoming travel season? Well, Alaska is always big, right? It's in our <laughs> yeah. backyard, so to speak. You get on a cruise ship here from Seattle, and you and you go up to Alaska, and you spend a few, uh, you know, spend a week up there, and you come home. And by far, it's our, it's the most popular destination for us because of the ease, because of the beauty, 
Uh, people come from all over the world to do it. It's right here for us. So that's easily uh, our top destination. Uh, Europe has always been a hot destination uh, in general. There's so many things to do, but specifically, folks are really going after those river cruises. So, um, you know, even folks that have been on ocean cruises, even people that prefer other modes of land travel, uh, they're, they're looking towards these river cruises and saying, yeah, I really, that sounds really appealing to do these highways of history. And, uh, and so they're jumping on that, uh, of course. And then, you know, finally, like I said, it's all these other sort of trips that maybe don't fit in a, in a perfect bucket where um, maybe they're doing a unique trip that goes to Istanbul and Greece, right? I just had a client yeah. in Mexico. He says, I want to go to Istanbul and I want to go to Greece. And, and so finding those types of itineraries or like I said, those big itineraries on exploratory types of vessels where you're going to Antarctica and you're going to the Galapagos, uh, those have become very, very hot all of a sudden. Very cool. I'm so excited that travel is back and I can't wait to see your business really flourish and the people you get to help by really changing their lives through travel. So I look forward to seeing your growth and success and excited to have you as a part of Network in Action. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thank you. Thank you.